Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Earthrise Megatron. And this decal set includes two decal sheets on foil backing, and one is a really big one, and one smaller decal sheet on clear. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Megatron, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Earthrise Megatron looks okay. I preferred the Siege Megatron look, but this one's all right. Yet, what's funny, is I love the Generation Selects G2 Megatron that uses this same mold. I guess I just like those collars better. But let's take a closer look at Megatron so we can check out his collar scheme. He's got great use of paint applications right there for the eyes and the face. See how the face is silver compared to the rest of the body. He's got a purple Decepticon logo dead center in his chest down here on the ab area. He's got blue paint applications for those two dots, a little yellow bar right there. Moving on down to the legs, he has more of that siege battle damage crap that I don't think anybody likes. The arms, of course, you've got red right there, which is paint applications because it's black and that's painted red. No real details on the fusion cannon. And really that's it. Got a little bit of gray on the feet. So Megatron here really doesn't have a lot of colorful details. So hopefully Toy Hacks will fix that. Megatron also comes with his sword, spear, gun weapon, which is really plain looking aside from some black detailing right here and black stripes around the barrel and of course a black tip. But other than that, this is really nothing much to write home about. So there you go guys, one final look at Megatron in robot mode before. And after, Earthrise Megatron gets quite a few Generation 1 Toy Megatron throwbacks with this new decal set from Toy Hacks. And the first decal you're probably noticing is the new squiggly chest design that he has that the G1 toy was known for. Now what's cool about this decal, this is actually raised ink. Can you hear it? So that is pretty neat. Now this decal is all on a clear backing, so what you need to do before applying is remove the Decepticon logo that he came with. And it's super easy, barely an inconvenience. Just get some alcohol and a cotton ball and you're good to go. You also get new decals right there for the little triangles on either side of his chest and he gets new eye decals. And I love how those catch the light. Megatron also gets new decals here on the shoulder the biceps, and decals here on the fusion cannon. So you've got one on each side. There's also new decals on the outside of his fist that play a bigger role in vehicle mode. Down here on his stomach area, you get a new red decal here, yellow decal across the bottom, and the sides now get new red decals. And that's a throwback to the Generation 1 animation model. Moving on down, Megatron's legs, you got new decals here for the knees, new red decals right below the knees, and on the feet are decals that go all the way around the foot. Now inside the legs, you get new decals that are red with circuitry decals or details and yellow arrows. Once again, another throwback to the original Generation 1 Megatron toy that I have with me right here. So you can see those squiggle details right there on that decal. 
G1 Megatron also has the red inside the legs. So I absolutely love the Generation 1 throwbacks. Megatron's sword, spear, cannon weapon also gets some new decals. You can see some nice chrome decals there on the edge with some greenish decals right down the middle. And these are actually on both sides. The Generation 2 set for Megatron only had the spear decals on one side. So I'm glad they fixed that. That looks really, really cool now. And of course, the shield section has a decal that I'll go over more in vehicle mode. So there you go, guys. Earthrise Megatron in robot mode after. In tank mode, straight out of the packaging, Megatron is still a little plain. He's just all gray and black with a little red thrown in, though I do like the battle damage in tank mode a lot better than robot mode, especially the details down here on the bottom of the treads where it's brown instead of the silver up top. So it looks like he's actually went through the mud. He also has a D16 right there on the side, which is his Japanese ID number, Destron 16. I love the Decepticon insignia in tank mode. The purple with the white outline looks so much better than just the plain purple one he had in robot mode. Now, no Decepticon insignia on that side. Now, the sword spear gun is also the barrel of the tank. So you've got the black detailing there and around the barrel and the tip. And that's pretty much it. I hate how Megatrons always have the feet hanging off the back of tank mode. Lots of nice molded details though. It does look more like an earth style tank. So there you go guys. One final look at Megatron in tank mode before and after. Megatron gets quite a few new decals to help enhance his tank mode. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at Megatron. Starting here at the front, we've got new decals right here along the front. That's either a fender or a bumper. I'm not sure what that's called on a tank. New purple decals right there for a window and purple window decals right there for the cockpit. There's also a decal right here for a hatch. New decals right here on the front of the treads. On the side of the vehicle, he gets a few decals right along the treads that go in between the wheels that kind of break up all the black. I really like how that looks. They did that for the G2 Megatron one, and I like that, and I think it looks just as good right here. On the side of the turret, we get new decals right there to break up that black. Lots of nice details on those silver decals. On top of the vehicle, you can see the chrome from Megatron's Fusion Cannon, a new decal here, decals right there in the red section, and if you make sure and have the Fusion Cannon faced with this circular section up, there is another hatch decal right there. And on the back of the tank, Megatron now has taillights, you know, for safety. And then right here, I like this, a die decal right there which is kind of, I look at like Megatron's making fun of Optimus Prime's Go that's in his trailer. So lots of little decals that really add a lot more personality to Megatron's tank mode. So there you go. One final look at Megatron's tank mode after. The Toy Hex decal set for War for Cybertron Earthrise Megatron is a fantastic set if you are a G1 fan. I love the Generation 1 Megatron toy throwbacks. It really makes this figure look so much different than he did before. I actually kind of like this guy now. Now, I know a lot of you probably aren't into the whole squiggle decals, but like all Toy Hex decals, it is optional. So you can do whatever look you would like to have for your figure. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!